Today I'm going to be detailing more about an FTTP installation and about a sort of future one that's in progress at the moment. Many of you who follow broadband forums or this channel will know about this installation here and the customer has opted for the fibre to the premises service which can be judged by the fact they've got two lines, one which is pure fibre and one which is pure copper going to their property. Uh, obviously the fibre one's travelling from the fibre manifold on the left and then that goes down into the ground and round and round and round into the uh, manhole, manhole area there which contains probably the fibre distribution point. You see there's two, now as you can see there's two posts here one for electricity on the left and one for the telephone on the right. So that's all well and good and they could easily fit the manifold there because it was their own pole. However in the next installation which is the in progress one I'll show where that hasn't possibly been available. So now I'm in the land of overhead cabling where overhead cables travel as far as the eye can see pretty much. So in this case the remote poles all the way down there somewhere and you, you probably can't see but it's pretty much all overhead here. Um, and But I mean certainly on this part there's electricity columns on the right and telephone on the left. But as we'll soon see that isn't the case everywhere. So I'm now further down the road and you can see there's two lines here, one up there and one down there which lead into the same post which is embedded in this tree. And this is very near the area where the problems begin to arise because as you can probably see down there, there is two posts. The one on the left is the electricity pole and it also carries the telephone distribution cable which is the smaller one below. But the big problem here is that they don't allow the electricity ones to be used for fibres of the premises. So if we just browse to the bottom of the post here, you can see there's a typical manhole cover there. But there's also the blown fibre tubing, which we're quite interested in. Because that's the stuff that I was showing earlier going up to the manifold. So you can see the post here which carries the telephone cabling as well as electricity but right next to it there is another column with nothing on it. Now based on information that I've received that second column is going to be used for that cabling and the manifold on there to serve the houses around here. So that's it's going to be quite interesting because this manifold is alleged to be able to serve rather more properties than you would perhaps expect it to. But um, yeah, it's going to be quite interesting. This work's designed to, it's supposed to be going on tomorrow and Tuesday. So it's going to be quite interesting to see. I'm going to have to try and pop by. But I mean, certainly the actual pole itself was installed very recently, judging by the soil there. It's, you know, it's not been left long enough. Um, actually if we look at it see there's a little duct there as well and it's, there's another duct over there so that's curious, I don't think they imagine they'd have way leave issues when they fitted that cabling there but I'm sure they've ducted it into the manhole cover <laughs> 